Hello, my miraculous friend. Welcome to another episode of the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. This is Reverend Francis Faden, and I am so grateful that we get to spend this time together helping you magnify your miracles. Today, we're going to be talking about something really fascinating to me. I'm still in the process of trying to understand how it all works. We're going to be talking about how I met my spirit guide and how you can meet your spirit guide. And I'm going to share with you this story that I think it's still, I mean, I do this for a living and it still just blows my mind. I'm like, what, what, how is this even possible? But before we get into all of that, let's take a few deep breaths together. Just get ourselves grounded and centered. Breathing in the energy of the expansion, breathing out anything you no longer need. And just allowing ourselves to come into this moment. If you are driving, please keep your eyes on the road. But you can always bring your awareness to your breath. And as we start to notice that small, small shift, of just focusing on our breath brings our attention and our awareness to this moment where the divine dwells. And feeling that divine presence within us, all around us, supporting us, loving us. Knowing that whatever you need to hear today to help you magnify your miracles is exactly what you're going to hear. Let's take one more deep breath together in gratitude. And we can begin. Well, welcome once again, my friend, to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. So we're going to be talking about something today. And I'm going to be sharing this story with you that is actually still unfolding. So it's not like I have the end of the story. I have, this is what's happened so far. But for some of you, if you've been listening to the podcast for a while, you will know that my wife, Deepa Lu, is this amazing artist who's painted this um, portal behind me of Mother Mary. This is called Mother Mary Blessing the World. And so if you've never seen it, I encourage you to go to YouTube and listen to this episode or watch the episode on YouTube so you can see what I'm pointing to. So I am going to be showing you some things. I will be describing them for those of you who are listening, but I, uh, to be able to see them is really amazing. And this painting that's behind me is called Mother Mary Blessing the World. And this energy is always, she is kind of sending out energy wherever to whoever blessing the world. And whenever I'm on a podcast interview or I'm doing even this podcast, people always say to me, I was staring at that painting. I wasn't really looking at you. And I just smile because I know how much energy and intention Deepa puts into these paintings. Well, she is an, a sacred artist and you are going to get to hear from her next week. She's going to be talking about how your life purpose, your life purpose has its own spirit guide. And she's been working with people over the last, I would say a couple years or so, where she tunes into your energy and she can see in her mind's eye, your spirit guide. She gets an image, she gets this vision. And then being the amazing artist that she is, she paints it. So I saw her doing these for people and doing another one and doing another one. And I was like, hey, who's my spirit guide? Hey, I want you to paint my spirit guide. Now you might be saying, well, Reverend Francis, isn't Mother Mary your spirit guide? And technically the answer would be yes, because any being can be your spirit guide. But I relate to Mother Mary. She's my doorway to the divine. If you were to ask me how I think about God, to me, God is the, is the field of unconditional love. Mother Mary represents that energy to me personally. So I always refer to God as divine mother. That's how it works for me. Might be totally different for you. What Deepa does is she tunes in to the spirit guide that is here to help you with your purpose, your life purpose, what I call your sacred life purpose, what she calls your holy calling. So I leaned in and I was like, I want one of those. I want to, I want to know. And you know, it's a little tricky trying to work with people that you know really well, but she's really great. So I thought, let me, let me just see if she can do this. So she did. So she, we had this session and she said, all right, you tell me what it is that you're really wanting to magnify in your life. What aspect of your purpose do you feel like you need some support with? So I told her and she got this vision and she started painting it. And I was waiting, waiting, you know, patiently waiting. Um, and then she did give it to me. And I was just like, what? <laughs> my first reaction was like, what? 
this is my spirit guide what it just and so she explained it to me and this is what she does with people she has an initial appointment with you has the vision does the painting and then she does a follow-up appointment with you and she shows it to you mails it to you and, and teaches you how to use it because what this paint it's not just a painting it's a portal and a portal similar to an icon in orthodox christianity where it's not just the thing it acts as a doorway or literally a portal for the divine and so these are called spirit guide portals and when she showed me one i'll be honest with you i was kind of like this is my spirit guide this is my spirit guide really um but then she gave me the message and i was like oh i really understand so i want to share with you i'm going to show you my portal i'm going to show you my spirit guide but then i'm going to share with you how this <laughs> this spirit guide which i call my rascally it's kind of a rascal my spirit guide has been trying to help me overcome my skepticism and my doubt anybody else here skeptical about things given that this is what i do for a living i talk to people's energy and mother mary and all that you would think that i'm not skeptical i am super skeptical like i i only work with certain people because i really i'm like mm, i'm not 100 percent sure that everybody who says that they can do stuff can actually do it so i'm like number one skeptic so this is my portal and I'm going to hold it up for you so you can see it. This is my spirit guide. I never know how to hold it up. So for those of you who are listening and you can't see uh, the background, you can't tell on here. It's actually like a really deep purple. And then it's in this kind of cloud of light. And Deepa said to me that the spirit guide swooped in. This is a winged horse is what it is. It's like a Pegasus. And she said, as soon as she looked at my energy, whom this horse came in. And it was this winged horse that flew in and it was in this beautiful uh, cloud of light and energy coming out of this like dark purple purpley purpley grayish kind of a field and uh, one of the things that deepa has you do when you're doing this process with her is you ask the portal what its name is and so the name i got from my spirit guide is silver which then i laughed because i thought of the lone ranger and hi-ho silver right but that's the name that I got. And so I was like, okay, <laughs> I guess this horse is my spirit guide. This winged horse is my spirit guide. And honestly, I was really skeptical. So then the next day, so she gave this to me. The next day we were taking a road trip down to Maryland. I forget the reason why, but we're on this, on uh, the highway heading down to Maryland from Pennsylvania and you know, they have the big lights, uh, uh, I mean, the big signs that are lit up now. So they'll tell you if there's kind of like a traffic warning or an amber alert or something like that. They have the big signs that, you know, they can change them electronically now that are guiding you on the highway. Well, the very first one, we, we go and we see that it's lit up. Instead of saying amber alert, it said silver alert. And I just started laughing. And every couple of miles, silver alert, silver alert. And apparently a silver alert is when, instead of it being an amber alert, it's for like, uh, I guess a senior, senior citizen having a crisis of some kind. But you know, I, my portal just named itself. My spirit guide just told me that his name was silver. And here he is the next day, trying to get me to see that A, this is not my imagination, that this is a real thing. And one of the things that Deepa had told me is that this particular spirit guide has been with me since the day I was born. Now that may not always be true for people. Sometimes if your you know, purpose is evolving or you're having something special, you can have a spirit guide come, but this one has been with me. So when I started to think about it and I started to look into some things, I'm like, okay, ever since I was little, I was obsessed with horses. I didn't understand. It's like, why do we not have horses? I was like, you know, I grew up on Long Island and I'm like, is there a reason why we don't have a horse? And lo and behold, back then, Long Island was um, not as crowded as it is now. And uh, the people who lived behind us actually had such a big plot of land. And they were senior citizens at the time that um, they actually did have horses. So when I was little, I would go out my backyard and there would be a horse in the backyard next to me and I would feed it apples or whatever it was. And it just seemed like the most normal thing to me to have these horses. I loved horses. I was like, wish I could have a horse. 
And I'm also born in the year of the horse in Chinese medicine. So that also made me laugh. And the Deepa was telling me that this particular spirit guide with the wings, the Pegasus energy, was really here up to help me to spread my wings, to be able to reach more people, and also to make it easier that the big message from my spirit guide was to climb on his back and let him carry me. So I've been having to learn how to work with my spirit guide portal because it's not second nature for me. I'm used to working with Mother Mary. I'm used to doing things in my own certain way. And what's really great about that is it's giving me what they call beginner mind. It's helping me be in that childlike energy of like learning something for the first time. So I will admit to you that when I got my portal, I was like, okay, well, we'll see about this. And then I started recognizing that my spirit guide has been trying to catch my attention this whole time. And I just had this feeling a couple of weeks ago. I was like, wait a minute. I remember when I had gone to a retreat with my mentor, Reverend Jane Howard Feldman. She does these retreats every year. And she often gives us pictures that are like from calendars or something, and they have a message in it. And then I remembered, wait a minute i remembered her giving me this picture so i went into my closet and i dug it out and i have to share it with you here is the picture if you can see it i have it in a frame now uh when i was taking this class with her so that was supposed to be me on the uh on this horse <laughs> with my wings but look it is that same kind of grayish silver horse now this one's a unicorn and in this picture, I'm the one that has the wings, but still it's this winged horse kind of unicorn energy that has this silvery vibration. And I was like, oh my God, that's silver. Silver was trying to catch my attention a couple years ago when I went to that retreat. And then I'll share with you one more thing that really made me laugh. So I went to the grocery store, our little local grocery store. And as soon as we walk in our grocery store, there's, um, kind of like a little flower shop when you very first walk in and the flower shop has beautiful flowers so you come in with your cart there's these beautiful flowers but they also have seasonal gifts that are there so like in the summertime they'll have little plants that you can you know plant in your garden at um, halloween they'll have you know stuffed pumpkins or you know little little knickknacks and things and they go crazy at like thanksgiving and christmas time so this was just last month I walk into my little grocery store and I notice that they've kind of changed and I don't know what the heck the theme was, but here sitting there as I walked in was this little guy. <laughs> if you can see this little stuffed animal who is so soft and so cute. So he's a little purpley gray, just like the background of my portal. He's this purpley gray horse with silver wings and a little unicorn on top that is also silvery and I felt like this was silver saying hi don't forget about me I have never seen this color in a stuffed animal ever I've never seen this color and so of course I had to get him and bring him home and now he sits on my desk with me reminding me to connect with the energy of ease and to let myself spread my wings and also to climb on his back and to make my life easier. So my friend, I had to share those three things with you because you know, I am on this path with all of you and I love sharing these stories with you because I, my goal and my intention is that they inspire you. They inspire you to see this world is miraculous. Life is miraculous. The fact that Deepa can paint these paintings is miraculous. The fact that I would drive on the highway and see Silver Alert the day after my spirit guide you know, tells me the name. The fact that I would go to my grocery store on an average day and run into this guy right here, <laughs> who's like you know, gray and silver, which reminding me, hey, you're not alone. You have a purpose and your purpose has a spirit guide and that you are being supported. I think it's miraculous that these things happen and I love sharing them with you and I'd love to hear from you. What kind of miraculous things have you had? I know people have things happen with animals and you have them happen with, you know, um, you know, sometimes we'll be walking, we'll find 
pennies or nickels or dimes on the ground and that could be a sign from a loved one that's on the other side all kinds of things are happening the key to magnifying your miracles what do i say is to know that your miracle is already here and is to be looking for them we want to always be saying divine mother what's my miracle today what's my miracle today i know there's one here for me i'm opening my eyes to the miracles i'm opening my eyes now if you don't know who your spirit guide is I highly recommend that you get in touch with Deepa. Um, she has this thing that's just called a next step connection call. We can go and you can chat with her for about 30 minutes or so and just find out if that's something that would be helpful for you. If you want to have your own spirit guide portal, she's going to be on next week. So next episode, I'm going to be interviewing her and she's going to be talking a lot more in depth about how this whole process works. But if you're like me and you don't like to wait, you can go to deepalude.com forward slash gift, G-I-F-T, and you can set up a next step connection call with her and say, hey, I heard about this thing on River Princess's podcast, and how does it work, and how do you do it, and how can I get my own spirit guide portal? I'm amazed, you know, and, and it takes a lot to amaze me because I, I grew up in kind of a miraculous energy, and I knew Deepa when she was in the financial industry and did not have any visions or any of this stuff she thought i was the one that had all this stuff. she kept saying to me i'm not like you i'm not like you i said you're more like me than you think and since this is all opened up to her it is amazing to me and i'm like wow how do you put that energy into a painting and have it radiate out energy just like this one behind me uh, mother mary blessing the world radiating out the intention and the energy it's truly a miraculous thing so my friend, I'd love to hear your story. If you have any stories about meeting your spirit guides or connecting, I love hearing those stories. And if this story was particularly inspiring to you, I'd love to hear that as well. Feel free to share it with anybody that you know who might be interested in learning about spirit guides or magnifying their miracles, friends, family, on social media, whatever works for you. That really not only does it help me, but it helps Divine Mother to really spread the light on the planet to inspire people to look beyond the ordinary and recognize that the miracle is already here. Thank you so much, my friend. God bless you. Bye-bye.